Something Happened is Joseph Heller's second novel, published in 1974, following his landmark work, Catch-22. The book departs from the satirical style of his first novel and delves into the in-depth psychological analysis of the main character, Bob Slocum. It is a darkly introspective account of this character's life, written in the first person and filled with non-linear narrative and interior monologues. Bob Slocum is a middle-aged businessman who works in a large bureaucratic corporation. On the surface, he seems to have achieved the American dream. He has a well-paying job, a family, a nice house in the suburbs, but underneath he is deeply troubled and unsatisfied with his existence. The narrative lays bare the complexities and contradictions of Slocum's thoughts, and in the process presents a critique of the corporate and social culture of mid-20th century America. Throughout the novel, Slocum is consumed by anxiety, existential dread, and the haunting sense that something catastrophic is about to happen, although he can't pinpoint what that might be. This sense of impending doom parallels the ambiguous title of the book. He is often preoccupied with his position in the corporate hierarchy, constantly worried about being both overtaken by younger colleagues and pushed aside by more senior executives. Despite his success, Bob is filled with self-doubt and self-loathing, and he's paralyzed by indecision and the fear of failure. Slocum's personal life is just as problematic as his professional one. While he manifests outward charm and sociability, his internal life is rife with darker thoughts and desires. He is unfaithful to his wife, engaging in a series of extramarital affairs, though he finds little satisfaction in them. He is ambivalent towards his wife, simultaneously feeling needful of her and resentful. Their marriage has devolved into one of convenience and routine, lacking any real emotional connection. Bob's relationship with his three children is also complex. He expresses detached affection for his oldest son, who mirrors the aggressive traits that Slocum sees in himself and in the competitive business world he inhabits. His daughter formulates another aspect of his concern, as he is simultaneously protective over her and disturbed by his own inappropriate sexual feelings towards her as she enters puberty. Meanwhile, his youngest child, Derek, is someone he feels love for, but tragically, Derek is a mentally challenged and silent boy who evokes in Slocum feelings of despair, helplessness, and guilt. The narrative of Something Happened consists largely of Slocum's internal musings, which oscillate between his present experiences and memories of his past, including his relationship with his own abusive father. These thoughts are not structured in chronological order, making the novel a deep immersion into Bob's psyche rather than a straightforward story. Slocum's monologues and dialogues are often contradictory, reflecting the conflicted and disturbed nature of his mind. Uniquely, the novel avoids traditional dialogues and interactions, focusing instead on Slocum's interior reflections. Heller employs this method to dissect the post-World War II American psyche, particularly the fear of loss, the loss of power, the loss of youth, and the loss of control. The narrative conveys the emptiness of material success and the corrosive effects of corporate life on the individual, family, and society at large. Heller's depiction of Slocum's corporate world is marked by an absence of authenticity and a prevalence of facade, a place where humanity is subordinate to hierarchy and power games. As Slocum's story progresses, his life becomes more stifling, and his world feels increasingly claustrophobic. The sameness of his daily routine and the lack of fulfillment in his achievements lead him to consider drastic changes, but his fear of the unknown prevents him from taking any definitive action. Life appears to him as utter bleakness, devoid of real purpose or joy. Heller's skillful narrative conveys Slocum's inner turmoil with biting humor, irony, and candidness. The language used in the novel is evocative and darkly comedic, displaying Slocum's hypocrisy and the pervasive dishonesty in his interactions with others. The novel delves into themes of alienation, the dehumanizing effects of corporate culture, the facades people construct to navigate society, and the fear of emotional engagement and vulnerability. Towards the end of the novel, the something that has been ominously alluded to finally happens, impacting Slocum deeply. The event is the sudden and unexpected death of his son. This cataclysmic event does not have the cathartic effect one might anticipate, 
and it does not bring Slocum any closer to self-actualization or clear-headedness. Instead, it reinforces his fear, isolation, and sense of powerlessness, cementing a bleak worldview that sees life as a series of random and often painful events. Something Happened ends with Slocum continuing to grapple with his fears, doubts, and the consequences of his actions. It is clear there will be no easy resolution for him, both in terms of his personal life and his place in the corporate world. Heller leaves the reader to ponder the complexities of human nature, the struggle for authenticity in a superficial world, and the question of what, if anything, can bring real meaning to one's life. The novel's complex narrative style, bleak tone, and lack of a traditionally satisfying conclusion make it a challenging read yet the book is a profound examination of the human condition. Through Bob Slocum's unsettled mind, Joseph Heller provides a vivid exploration of the discontent and disorientation that can lurk beneath the surface of prosperity and social conformity.